What up, what up? I'm in the building. What up? Christian, what up, man? Where all my movers at? 7 p.m. Wednesdays. Open discussion. This is where every entrepreneur, every mover needs to be. 7 p.m. Wednesday night. Power move, open discussion. Strictly for entrepreneurs, strictly for movers. If you are trying to move up, if you're trying to do more with your life, this is where you need to be. Who's in the building? I can't see that great. But for everybody who's joining, appreciate y'all joining in. We got to spread the word. There's so many people just like us. So many people just like us out there who want to do more with their life. We got to encourage each other. This is our time. This is what we do. We help one another. We teach one another. We inspire one another. For all my movers out there, Pass the word on. There is no reason we should be in these types of open discussions where we can learn from each other, where we can encourage each other. We should not be here by ourselves. If you in here, then you know three other people like you. Birds of a feather flock together. The old people used to say, show me your closest friends and I'll show you who you are. So that means if you in the building right now, you got close friends just like you. They movers. What up, y'all? I'm looking forward to this night. You know, this is starting to be a source of inspiration for me where I just get excited. 7 p.m. on Wednesdays, like, I can't wait. For everybody, like, we're going to give it us another second and then we're going to get started. But please, if you know anybody out there, anybody who is trying to do more with their life, this is a conversation we all need to join. Please tell anybody and everybody you know who got your DNA, who's cut from the same cloth as you. This is where you need to be. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. What up to everybody who's joining? Looking, I'm seeing all types of people. Maxie, what up? Seeing all types of people joining in. This is this is what we do, y'all. This is what we do. If y'all haven't joined or subscribed to the YouTube channel, please head on over to YouTube. Subscribe to Power Move Makers on YouTube. I interview some of the most successful entrepreneurs and movers out there. I interview them and they give so much wisdom, so much of their gems for nothing. For nothing. It's their job just like it's my job to pay it forward. And it's going to be y'all's job because if y'all are in here, y'all are kindred spirits. We all got to pay it forward, y'all. Joy, what up? I see you in the building. See all types of people jumping in. I love it. I love it. Wednesday nights. This is our time, y'all. This is what we do. It's open discussions. Before we even get started, I'm telling y'all right now. This ain't for me. It's not for Sean Prez. It is for us. So I don't care where you at in your journey. Please ask questions. This is where you can get your questions answered at. This is a safe space. This is our space. I'm doing this for people who are just like me. People who think like me. People who want more. Do not come into this thing and be too scared to... Ask your questions. I don't get you. So what? It's no such thing as a stupid question. I'm putting myself out there. Put yourself out there. If you can get help and you can get people who might be able to say, look, I done went through the same thing just two months ago. So this is how you get through what you're going through. Step up and ask the question because this is what we do. It's our community. It's, this is each one teach one. I said every week, it takes a village. This is our village. We are the power move makers. Everybody in this building is a mover. 
Tell your people to tell their people. This should be flooded. It is no reason why there is less than a thousand people here week over week. It is no reason. I, I, I got to believe we are not the only ones who are starving, who are hungry, who are savages and who want more. There's no way that I can believe that. So your friends, your family, I'm sure you know people who are just like you. Monday nights, we do this at 7 p.m. Wednesday nights, it's an open discussion. And it's for us. There are no silly questions. There are no stupid questions. We come in here to get encouraged, come in here to get motivated. We come in here to get answers. So step up and ask your questions. We right here. Barbara, what's up? Big Breeze, what up? I see you. See all kind of, is that, is that Ty Chico in there? Ty, what up? Coming in from Detroit. I love it. This is what we do, y'all, but we're going to get started. And um, before we open it up to our questions, y'all know I just like to talk a little bit and set the tone for the evening. And, um, you know, it's crazy because for any of y'all who was on live on Monday, you know, I came into that live and it's, it's so crazy how God works because I got one of the greatest lessons that I can get when I started doing this. It put me in such an uncomfortable place, in such an uncomfortable place. But I thought I was doing this for y'all. I thought I was doing this for a community of movers. And what was re revealed to me on Monday, God just let me know, no, this is for you. I got, I got one of the greatest gifts I could have gotten on Monday because Monday I came into this live and I'm supposed to be motivating y'all and I just didn't feel it. I just didn't have that passion that I normally have. I just didn't feel inspiration even before I got into it. I knew it. I didn't know what I was going to talk about. And I came out here and I did something that I never, ever, ever want to do. And I just spoke what I thought I should be talking instead of just talking from my heart. And, you know, here's the deal, right? When I got through with it, when I got through this is the part that y'all don't see. Y'all come in because you want the inspiration. Y'all come in because you want to learn. Y'all come in because you feel, okay, prayers can teach us a little something. But this is what I want to share, what I learned. And I really wish, I truly from my heart wish that all of y'all could see me after these lives. I wish that y'all could see me when we shut these things down and we go on, all of y'all go on about your life and I go on about my life, I am sick. I'm when, when I don't perform to my peak, when I don't perform to a level that I feel is, is what I think, what I know that I can do, I'm sick to my stomach. And for any of y'all who was here on Monday, y'all had to notice I did not immediately put the, 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 the video up from the live. I didn't want to put it up. I, I was disgusted with myself. I was like, that was the worst message. It was whack. It felt contrived. It didn't feel like I was speaking, you know, in a straight line. I was all over the place and I was beating myself up. I was bashing myself because I know I could do better. And when I'm sitting and I've got my head buried and I started to talk to people who love me and, and, and people who support me. And I'm like, there's no way I can put that video up. There's no way I can let somebody like for the people who was in the live. OK, they got to see me catch a L, but there's no way that I could put that video up. And everybody told me, yo, Sean, put the video up. It was better than you thought. But I know what I can do. And then I had to go. And I had to come back to a place that for me, it all begins and it ends. And that's on my knees. And I started to pray to God and I started to ask God, God, look, I'm, I'm supposed to go on every week and encourage people. I'm supposed to go on every week and deliver some type of message or some type of energy that encourages them. What about when I'm not inspired? What about when I just don't have it? And then that's when God started talking to me. Like, first and foremost, you left me out the equation. You thought you can go and do them lives. You thought that you can go and sit and talk to people and do it on your own. 
I'm the one who gave you this gift. I'm the one who set you up. How in the world are you ever going to leave me out the equation? And I began to pray and I pray and God just started to reveal things to me left and right, left and right. And he started to remind me of a conversation I had, you know, just doing my interviews with, and, and it was one conversation in particular with Rodney Jerkins. And I asked Rodney Jerkins, y'all know him, Dark Child, Grammy Award winner, work with every artist under the sun, has made some of the most incredible music over the last 25 years. And I asked Rodney during our interview, I said, Rodney, do you ever get writer's block? Do you ever have to, you know, just shut it down for a little while? And he said, Sean, let me put you on a game. I never get writer's block. He was like, I never do because I figured out the ultimate power move. He said, yes, I've had writer's block once or twice in my life, most, over 25 years. He said, but the ultimate power moves is I drop to my knees and I pray. I drop to my knees and I remember to include that man upstairs. I should never have writer's block. And I started to think, like, forgive me, starting to think God started to reveal to me, showing this is your gift. I gave this to you. You should never be without words. You should never be without a message. Include me in it. Include me. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, you got to, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what part of the journey you're on. But you got to include that man upstairs if you are living in your gift, if you are living in your purpose. You got to include him from the gate and there will be no roadblocks for you. There will be no roadblocks that you can't get over. You like these wonderful bodies that God has blessed us with. These like think about your body. Think about the the the, the incredible complexity of these bodies. They are built for resistance. They are built for endurance. They are built for the marathon just as well as the sprint. And you got it in you to get through any obstacle that is out there. Yes, we hurt, but we heal. Yes, we bend, but we break, but we don't break. Do you understand that? Yes, we fall down, but we get up. We are winners. God designed us to be winners. And when I'm sitting in there and I'm giving myself every excuse under the sun, I can't do this. What message am I going to come up with week over week over week? God said, look, this is your gift. Go out there and you can show them better than you can tell them. And what I mean by that is in the music industry, my name is Golden. In the music industry, there's not a door I can't get in. There's not a phone call I can't get through. In the world of marketing and promotion, I am golden. There is not a phone call that I can't get through. There's not a door that I can't get in. But just like y'all, some of y'all who are transitioning, some of y'all who are starting a business, some of y'all who are early in your journey, I can show you better than I can tell you because you are watching somebody who's early in this new journey of mine, this whole new speaking thing. This is new. And you are watching me F up, fall down. You are watching me take lumps, bruises and everything else. And I'm hard on myself. I'm going to be harder on me than y'all can ever be. But we are here together and y'all are watching this journey just like I am watching yours. So yeah, I'm going to tell y'all like my pastor told me. I remember when my grandfather, he was the pastor of our church when before he passed. And he passed down the 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 king to the the keys to the throne to our new pastor. And I remember our new pastor asking our old pastor, my grandfather. He said, "Look, or better yet, I remember my grandfather asking my new pastor, he said, will you have a message for these people every single week? And my new pastor had to think about it. And then he looked my old pastor in the face and he said, look, if God truly gave this to me, if he gave me this gift, I'll never run out of messages. 
And that is when the smile came on my face. That's when I got off my knees because that is when God, I knew that came straight from him. That was a conversation I heard five or so years ago. If this, what I'm doing is truly my gift, then I'm never running out of messages for y'all. I am never, ever going to get on this thing and give y'all something that's contrived. I'm never, ever going to get on this thing and give y'all something that's rehearsed and regurgitated. This is my gift. I don't know where you're at in your journey. I don't know if you are living in your gift, but if you are, trust me when I tell you, you can do it. This is for you. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this week, watch me. I'm starting from the ground. Yes, I've had success in my life, but I am starting from the bottom. In, in my head, part of the reason I am throwing my phone when this thing is over and, and, and I'm unhappy with my messages is because I see myself standing next to the greats. For me, yes, we all know Eric Thomas is, is, is the best, the number one speaker out there. And in my opinion, Inky Johnson's the GOAT. But I'm coming for the crown. I am coming for the crown. And they need to be on notice. I'm like, I come here and I speak. I'm putting the world on notice. What crown are you going after? Who is your Eric Thomas? Who's your Inky Johnson? Claim it. Claim it. Because if you are not going for the crown, what the hell are you doing in the game? So I don't went on my little rant right there. <laughs> and um, hopefully I said something that woke some people up in here. And like I said, this, this is our thing. This is our, this is, this is our private environment. This is our safe space. And I'm going to be as truthful and as honest with y'all as humanly possible. Y'all going to watch me fall, but you will never, ever see me stay down. I'm getting back up. Y'all going to watch me get hurt, but you're going to see me heal. Y'all are going to watch me bend, but you will never, ever see me break. I promise y'all. And when this thing is all said and done, and when we have thousands in this little room right here, when we have people all over joining this conversation and y'all can say I was here early, this, let me be the example. Let me show y'all, look, it started from humble beginnings, but I showed up. I don't care how bad or how small the audience was, how bad I did the night before I'm showing up. And that is what you have to do. Show up. Half of the battle is won by nothing more than showing up. Get in the game. Don't let nobody tell you. I don't care who they are. I don't care how bad you mess up the day before. Yesterday is yesterday. Your job is to show up. I could go on all night. Monday, I ain't had nothing to talk about. And tonight, I feel like I could go. <laughs> but we're going to do what we came to do. We're going to open this floor up. Like I said, this thing ain't about me. It's about us. This thing is not about just Sean's journey. Learn from me. But this is about our journey collectively. Now, I'm going to call y'all out on something. I was a little pissed off on Monday. Because during my message in, 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 in just speaking and trying to encourage y'all, I told, I said, 90% of y'all won't make it. 90%. That is a reality check like a mother. And then I asked, does anybody have anything to say? And nobody said nothing. Nobody waved their hand. Nobody said, look, Sean, are you crazy? You talking about me? Hell no. I don't know what you talking about. Just by mere, like, like I am in this room right now. I am part of this conversation. You need to change your words and say 90% of the people who are not here ain't going to make it. But the 10% who's in here, we going to do it. Part of winning 
part of success is showing up. Y'all can't be scared to step up. If you scared to wave your hand and to ask a question here, how can you be expected to win out there? How can you be expected to take a L and get back up and get in the game without quitting? You can't even do it here. Don't never let nobody tell you 90% of y'all ain't going to make it. That's somebody else's reality. It ain't ours. We power move makers. This is our community. Stand up and don't be afraid because if in here, I'm going to give y'all the raw, unfiltered truth. That's what we do. But you got to be willing to take just no different than I'm putting my nuts on the line. You got to put yours on the line. Step up. Who got questions? Y'all are going through something. Somebody is in here right now who is willing to answer. Somebody is in here right now. I don't, it might not be me, but is willing to say, look, I done been through that. Trust me, you need to do this, 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 and this, and you can get over that hurdle. This is our safe space, our safe space, guys. So I'm going to open it up to the floor. Y'all got any questions? Ask it now. Y'all got any comments about anything I said tonight? Let it be known. And uh, we just going to take it from there real quick. Um, and before I, before I open the floor up, please tell a friend to tell a friend. Monday night, 7 p.m. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Wednesday nights are open. These are all open conversations. It's no stupid questions at all. There's no silly questions. We address everything. We are helping each other get to the next level. Please go and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Power Move Makers. And everything that's on YouTube, you can also get it on audio form on Spotify, Apple Music, all these interviews. They up there, they for free. They for us, y'all. Let's keep encouraging each other. Let me see who's um, trying to get in. I love it. I love it. I love the energy in here, y'all. I see everybody with the comments. Hold up. Is that Clinton Sparks? Oh, Fat Fingers. Fat Fingers. Up. Hey, who we got here? Hi, I'm Kimmy from uh, London. Kimmy, what up? Hi, nice to meet you finally. Nice to meet you. Kimmy, tell everybody where you're coming in from. I am from St. Albans, England. I, um, I saw you through the Ultimate Seminar. And okay. And I was like, he's talking about something. I connect to something about something. Let me just follow. And I have not been. I said in my stories, this is probably one of the best follows of like in the longest because it's paid off in my motivation. You know, it's beautiful. Um, last week when you were when when you opened up the floor, I had a burden of. Um, encouragement for people to say that you keep on hearing people uh, testifying from the mountaintop saying, you know, I made it and this, can I just uh, in, I'm in the valley with you. I, I came out of being bed bound for six years uh, with uh, six health conditions. I've had 19 spinal taps and two heart surgeries. Oh, wow. Um, I have chronic fatigue, it, um, idiopathic integrated hypertension, Wolf Parkinson, White syndrome room um a, a lot of health issues however those to me just are names they're just fancy names and scientific discoveries by side people and i i stay prayed up and uh and i take my medication but my dream has never died and i i wasted a lot of time saying i'll start when i recover when i'm better i'm gonna start and i was like Let's, you have been at this for a long time do it now and i remember someone saying when god doesn't open a door bust a window open and if there's Ooh. no window praise him in the hallway Ooh, and i have been praising him in the hallway and i've been saying lord you put this so when you talk i, I missed monday 
when I was watching that video, funny that you say that. I had it. I said, I know you didn't. I am not the. I am going to make it. You know, <laughs> of me, she is going to make it <laughs> because I was doing physio. I've learned to walk again uh, ten times. I was doing physiotherapy and I said, how am I going to perform on stage if I cannot walk? Walk, sis. And there you go. I would sing. I would dance through my walking. I would pray through it. I have, you know, a deeper, I was raised in the church and I used to sing in church, but my relationship with God grew through this. And I was like, you know what? Sometimes you go from being a spectator, comfortable from not, not having adversities and pressure makes you into a diamond and you become, uh, you become a messenger involuntarily. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. well, I'm a messenger now. Well, what, what am I? Because now I have a testimony. Things happen. There you go. Passes. I have a testimony now. So my burden is to um, is to tell people that, okay, I my journey is not quite vertical, it's linear. And I can tell you that I've taken steps and we are like blasting for lift off. But in my linear journey, let me tell you, I was bed bound. I had carers washing me. I was, I... I used to sleep with uh, I used to sleep with um boxing gloves next to me and I used to listen to Katy Perry Raw and literally mm -hmm. I used to hum to myself in in pain I was like mm -mm 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 <laughs> and I used to you know my brother used to laugh at me he he was like you're crazy you are crazy and I was and when I was in pain and I was crying he'll put on music and I'll be crying and I'll fall asleep and then I'll wake up and uh Amy Winehouse was playing and I was uh a day will come and I went there you go and he was there like you go. the music is still in there she's crying in pain and she's ill but she's still singing so I'm always encouraged to tell people that okay we have the people at the peak of you know Mount Kilimanjaro but let me tell you in the valley that you can make it out you can make it from the first step just take a step you might not see the staircase you might not see the next step but that's where faith kicks in just take the step and the way i know my god who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask for think there's going to be a step he hasn't let me down yet even when i felt like i'm being let down even when i was bed bound taking care of my dying father you know on the phone and talking to um you know make and then when he passed away making barrier arrangements for my hospital getting a brain surgery getting um was you know my, my, we're making barrier arrangements for my father was they're drilling me for a brain surgery and i'm thinking this is my lowest low what kept me going i said listen okay so new chapter okay okay plot twist okay so we've established that the testimony is going to be a lot stronger then so then the songs are going to get better then okay so then i have a new drive behind me then so i just want to encourage people that you know it, it life can throw things at you just start somewhere just do something well i'm gonna tell you kimmy first and foremost i love your testimony, I love that you were brave enough to share it with us and just know that you have a brother on the other side of this pond. You got a supporter, oh. not just in me, but in all of the people who are listening here. I don't know if you read these comments, but everybody is so inspired. You know... I reached out to you on DM. Yeah. My sister told me you were trying to get into the conversation a couple of weeks ago, and we've been going back and forth. So you know you truly do have a brother in me, and I love the fact that you shared your story tonight. Thank you so much. But, you know, before, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wanted to share, before you leave, I want mm -hmm. you to remember whenever you have a Monday moment again, please, please, please remember Joseph. Please remember Joseph. 
he was the dreamer he was um sold to slavery he was put in prison he was but yep. he had the vision in him and the vision sustained him and when god wants you to speak to his people he is such a a, a god of abundance that he wouldn't he, he make he he makes you minister from a place of abundance so you will always run out you know um overflow so I know that it's going to, sometimes it's going to get hard. Uh, Mondays are going to, uh, other Mondays are going to come, but I just know that your purpose and the God that sent you is so real. And the purpose that you have for people like me is so important and so timely in the year, the raggedy year that we've had, that we need this voice of reason, this voice of, of change. What you're doing is god's work so he is a god that is um he will fill you up he will fill you up and you will overflow and you will never minister from an empty place again and i just pray that you know he protects you he 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 ministers to you he speaks to you he provides for you that in these perilous times that his hand is on you and those that god's hand is on no man can do anything to not even a virus not even a scheme of man so i just really cover you in the blood of jesus and I just pray that everything that you do has god's fingerprint on it and whereas you've been successful in your own right now watch now that you have a purpose for people like me watch how god is going to be glorified through you because Ooh. you are doing it for us so thank you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And thank you so much. And and, and I got to go back and read up on Joseph. Just And I thank you for even bringing that up because as you brought it up, I was thinking about the story of Joseph. So I love you for that. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the words. And again, like I said at the top of this, I thought I was doing this for y'all, but this is really for me. I needed to hear that. Kimmy, thank you, girl. Remember, you got a brother over here and you got a community. We all rallying behind you. All Thank right. You. God Bye. bless you. Bye. God bless you. What up, y'all? Who we got next? This is our time. Any questions you have, any comments you have, anything that you want to bring to the table that somebody in this Power Move community can help you with, please, now is your time. Oh, Rob G, the general, what up? Hey, you know what's up. Ali, baby. <laughs> Ali, the great. He's there. Hey, man, I just want to tell, I just wanted to hop on real quick. Just whoa, 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 hold on, Rob, hold on. You, 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 you in the community of brothers and sisters, introduce yourself. Let them know who you are. Uh, man, I'm just a little dude from Oak Cliff, Texas, man, that, uh, Moved to Houston, started DJing on the radio a little bit, do a little podcasting, work now for uh, KTSU for the Vibe. Used to work for 97.9 The Box, Rob G. The General. What's up, Leon Lonnie Love? Um, I've been doing prayers now for about 15 years, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Feels longer than that. Maybe a little bit more, but I just want to come on, man, because, I, you know, as I listen to the words that you said at the top, and uh, how you had to encourage yourself and how, like I said, you're starting over. You, you got so many doors that you can open up easily uh, with entertainment, with marketing, and starting from the beginning. And, um, I, you know, I, don't, I, I really don't even know how uh, a year ago when you started this journey, how we ended up coming uh, back together after being separate for so long. But having watched you at the, at the very beginning, where where you said everything you said is been consistent. You said you was coming for ET, you were coming for the crown, and you said that a year and a half ago. That is not that has been consistent at all. And I'm proud of you for for stepping outside of your 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 box and and doing it because I know this is uncomfortable for you. I know. Oh, it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable for you, man. But I, hey, man, I I. I 
I, I just want to put, like you said, put a put a little little, little power boost in your jetpack and uh, keep you encouraged, man, to keep doing your thing. So, like I said, man, one day I, I I'm gonna put this on the, on a vision board. So I just I just got some magazines the other day, so I could put a little vision board together. And and one of the magazines I got was amazing places to travel. And okay. I, and I remember when we were talking about, we said we're gonna be on boats, like 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 trading places. Looking good, Sean. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to find the place that we're going to go. This one looks pretty dope right there. That looks pretty live. But, I uh, love it. I love it. <laughs> but, uh, but I put it together. I put it together. I got that right there. I got my poster board ready to go. And everybody out there, remember, you have not because you ask not. That's biblical. Hold, 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 hold on. I want you to say that. Again, Rob, please, because they need to hear it. You have not because you ask not. That is the first thing. That, that's the first principle. I mean, um, you think about your children. You know, I got a 10 and a 6-year-old. Christmas time is coming up. My 6-year-old daughter is asking for everything with impunity. She just, she don't, <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's nothing that holds her back or restricts her. And I think that's the same thing that we gotta we gotta uh, take to God. We can't ask with restriction, and you can't ask, you know, scared or or uh, reluctantly. And I think that's what happens a lot of times. We reluctantly ask because we know that we ain't always perfect. She knows she ain't perfect, but she don't care because she knows mm -hmm. as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, he's gonna find a way to get it to me. Now it may not look like what you what you envision, but it's always gonna come your way. That's going, and, and then the other thing is, you know, um, and having to learn this part is, is write the vision, make it plain. What's up, Tiff? What's up? Write it and make it plain. Um, one of my uh, pastors said uh, uh, a little while back, you wouldn't get on a plane if you didn't know where the pilot was taking you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you wouldn't just all willy nilly just. Let's just see what's out. Utah or Uganda. Who knows? So, <laughs> <laughs> so hey man, just want to encourage you, man, and, and you keep it going, man. You you're like I said, you're inspiring me uh to step out and do things that I'm uncomfortable to just watching you. So keep that going, man. I'm gonna get out because I know some other people want to talk to you, man. But I love you, brother. Keep it up, all right? <laughs> Rob, I love you and thank you for jumping in this conversation. Um you know, I, 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 I so appreciate the words. We go back so far and, you know, it's a wonderful thing because I remember when I first started this journey, when I first started it, you were probably, if you weren't the first, you were one of the first to randomly hit me and let me know what I was doing was making a difference and you're watching and you're praying for me and you're rooting for me and you're still here to this day. So thank you so much. And that is, th this is what we are doing this for. This is why I do this live because you can't go through this journey on your own. You need that support. You need somebody to tell you what you are working on, what you are trying to build, the person you are trying to become, you can do it. And that's what you have been for me. And I thank you for it. And I love you for it. Thank you, brother. All right, man. Love you, bro. How'd you later? Be good. Peace. What up, what up, y'all? Monday night, 7 p.m., Wednesday night, 7 p.m., YouTube, Power Move Makers, Power Move Makers broadcast, I mean, Power Move Makers podcast, iTunes, Spotify, all over, please. I interview some of the most influential people on the planet in all areas, not just in one industry, all industries. So please go, subscribe. Listen to those interviews, get the encouragement, but more important, get the education and the knowledge. If they did it, you can do it. Hold on, we're going to let more people in there. Let's see who we got. Who we got coming on that live? Hey, who we got? Hey, it's Joshia, the founder and CEO of hey! Win LLC. <laughs> Joshia, what up? How you doing? How you doing? This is unexpected. How are you? 
<laughs> I'm good and I'm nervous. <laughs> good. And, and that's what I want you to be. I want you to be nervous. I want you to be so uncomfortable, but do it anyway. I'm so proud of you for jumping in. Thank you so much. I thank you just even for having this, um, you know, platform for everyone to come out and, you know, just speak about what they're doing and their fears and et cetera. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I'm going to tell you, 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 you know, we speak offline, but this is what it's about. Like mm -hmm. being able to, to talk to like-minded people, get encouragement, get answers, support, let people know what you're doing and maybe that they can come and either help you in your journey or support it in some way or another. This is why we do what we do. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, well, first off, again, like I said, I thank you. I watch your interviews. Of course, we know each other on a personal level. Um, so even just, you know, interacting with you online is like, <laughs> um, but I mean, for me, just to give a, a quick brief of, you know, what it is that I do. Um, I actually am a seamstress. So I started sewing maybe about seven years ago. Um, and for me, it was all about making things that I didn't necessarily find in the store according to how I like to dress. And I know modesty is a big thing for me. So um, I remember times when, you know, with our former pastor, our former bishop, um, you know, we used to always have dinners and things like that. And it was always a problem with trying to find something to wear. And I know, like, um, even in the past, like my relatives, my aunts, my mom, and my grandmother, like they used to sew. And I just happened to speak out. I'm like, I'm going to start making my own clothes. Um, and I, I don't know if anyone really took me serious. But um, I took a couple of classes and I learned how to, you know, sew different things like tote bags and skirts and stuff. And it just pretty much went from there. And then even um, maybe to fast forward a little bit, um, our, my nephew came to live with us. So I kind of took a break from sewing. And I know they always say that when God gives you a gift, if you don't use it, he'll take it from you. Mm -hmm. um, so that was always scary for me. Um, and then just to fast forward even further into the pandemic, um, I lost my dad in April of this year due to COVID-19. Um, wow. And yeah, even at that time, it was totally unexpected, of course, because your father is like this big, you know, strong guy. You're not expecting something like this to happen. Um, but at that time, aside from praying and crying, I decided to use sewing again as therapy for myself. Um, mm -hmm. So when I did it, of course, the big thing was masks. Um, and I decided I was just going to do it for myself, my husband and my nephew. And when I sent um, pictures to my siblings, they sent me addresses like they wanted masks like really bad. And I'm like, oh, gosh. And my husband actually encouraged me to put it out on Facebook. And that was like a big no, no for me because I'm very, you know, discreet in that area. Um, but I put it out there and the orders just kept coming in and coming in and coming in to the point wow. where I was even like, I don't want to do masks like that. I just want to do clothes. And, you know, that was it. But um, it's it's just been going crazy from there. And um, even in the time that I, you know, my I lost my dad, I lost my job like two months after that. Um, so I decided definitely to take, you know, sewing on full time. Um, it actually did me better than my job. <laughs> so I you, are you talking in terms that. of income? Yes. Yes. Why? Yes. Now, now, can, can, can I interject there? Because mm -hmm. somebody needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to just follow your gift and your purpose. Definitely. Let God figure the rest out. Exactly. You Sometimes you have to jump in head first. You are working a full-time job. Mm -hmm. A and state job. You're telling me a state job? A state job. Wow. And you started sewing. Yeah doing something that you were just plain and simple passionate about yeah. and it was your gift yeah and you started to make more money doing that than that state job i did wow i did i did wow. i did i, I mean it was, that, that somebody need to hear that right there <laughs> it was totally totally unexpected i wasn't you know like i said i wasn't even thinking about it it was just okay i'm gonna do like 10 masks at the most and after that, I'm moving on to something else. And God was like, nope, you're not moving on to anything else. People want them. And, you know, even people that I've never even met before, you know, sent me messages on Facebook and things like that. And I just 
kept it going from there, you know, and it's, it's just, it's been a blessing. It definitely has been a blessing because, you know, I know that everyone, you know, some people may want to start their own business, but may be a little afraid to do it, mm -hmm. or, you know, just, they just don't feel like they can, you know, but sometimes you just have to take the leap and go for it, you know, and that's, that's the blessing too with, you know, you doing what you're doing as far as like, you know, encouraging other people, especially myself, you know, to just go for your dreams. And with that, you can't fail, especially when you put God before everything. And and that's all I did. You know, I, like I said, losing my father shook my world completely. But, you know, even through crying, I was sewing and sewing and sewing. And he's always been like, you know, one of the ones to help encourage me to do what I needed to do. Um, so I just went out and did it. And it's been a blessing to me. Well, you know, I, I would tell you, Josh, here, I, I don't think you realize how many people you are helping with this. Mm -hmm. I don't think you understand just by you sharing this story. This is the encouragement that somebody just needs to hear. Mm -hmm. They may never, ever, ever get to thank you for it. Mm -hmm. But believe me, the fact that you were brave enough to come on tonight and share and let everybody know that it can be done. Mm -hmm. You you had never started a business before, to my knowledge. Is is that correct? Correct. Never. It, like, I, you, you know, I would help with, like, different things and, you know, with church and, like, my husband's businesses and things like that. But I never just went out on my own and, and did my thing. And it's, it's just, I can't even, I don't even know how better else to express it. I know it was nothing but God. I'm just grateful for it. Was it was nothing but God, but, it, but you took that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. You believed in you. You bet in, on you. And and that's what people just need. They stop being so scared. Yeah. Stop stop worrying about what you don't know. You'll yeah. figure that part out. Right. Just take just take one step in the direction you are trying to go. Let God shine the headlights in front of you. He, he got you. Follow exactly. the headlights. You don't exactly. have to see way down there. Mm -hmm. People worry and, and and they scare themselves to death yeah. because they can't see the end result. Yeah. It ain't for you to see. Right. It's not for you to see. Yeah. Just do what it is that is in your heart to do mm -hmm. and with God, the gift that God gave you. And you're yeah. going to be just fine. Yeah. That's so thank very you true. so much. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I appreciate you coming on. You 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 did a lot for this community tonight. Make sure you tune in on Mondays and Wednesdays, Joshia. Keep, and keep up the great work. Oh, <laughs> thank do me you. a favor. Yes. Can, can you tell everybody where they can find you if they want to support and get mass and anything else that you're doing? Sure. Um, on my Facebook, I have my, my business Facebook, and that is WIM LLC. You can also find me on Instagram at underscore WIM LLC, which is W-H-I-M. It stands for with him in mind, and it's Jesus Christ. That's who him is. Um, and I also just started my Etsy store as well, so you can find me there as well as well. Um, um, at whim by Jashia, J A S H I A. All right, Jashia, keep up the good work. I love you, girl, and you Thank be good. You, you too. Have a good bye night. Bye. bye bye. Okay, we're going to take about one or two more calls. We're going to take about one or two more. I keep calling them calls. Like, I got to get this this live lingo right. Like, again, I told y'all, y'all are, y'all are seeing me grow and blossom on this thing. I see my man TC Unleashed. Troy, what up? See Troy in the building. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Who else we got? We let one or two more calls come in, and we'll wrap it up. We coming up on the hour. What's up? What's up, friends? Big Breeze, what up? What's up? What's up? What's up, community? How y'all doing, man? Um, I actually came on because, number one, I wanted to tell you, you know, thank you for doing this. But but I wanted to share, um, and thank you, Joshia, again. You know, he, he, you, you, you definitely helped me with your um with your words and your testimony that you just said. So so he's not lying, man. We you know, some of us needed to see some of us need to see different people um, you know, going through what they're going through. But I definitely me and Prez been knowing each other for a while. I do ex well I did I do executive protection. 
for you know celebrities from anywhere from Drake to P Diddy. We've been we worked at Bad Boy together, and um, you know I wanted to because I'm on here too on Mondays and Wednesdays, and I wanted to share just a brief thing about basically what COVID has done for me, and and you know I hear the two words that I hear are transition uncomfortable. These are things that we've been talking about today in the community, and it's 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 spot on, y'all. It's spot on. Um, before this COVID, you know, I was doing was like I said, protection at the highest level. Um, but I've had to learn because I mean it devastated my life, y'all. You know, and I'm sure that I'm not the only person that was somewhere comfortable, and and and. It just rocked me, yo. It just we woke up and the next week we were in the house. Um, it's the exact opposite of what my life has been for these past years. But what I'm saying to you is that um, it is it, so much in uncomfort. It's so much the wind is in uncomfort because it is it, it stresses you and, and pushes you to where you're supposed to be. Not necessarily like Rob said, like Prayer said, where you want to be. It's about where you're supposed to be. Life is not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be simple. You know, it, 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 what, I, and what I mean by that is I'm saying I'm learning that, yeah, okay, you've been with celebrities. You Like Prayer said, that's not, I can make a few calls myself, but it, it, it's just what, what I'm basically getting at is that you're going to meet with times in life when you just don't know. You just don't know. But thank goodness for this, this, this community where, you know, you hear people saying you're not supposed to know. That's just for me to reiterate that your, your blessings are over the hill. Nobody can see over the hill, but it's just about you going. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to also say that in me losing my situation where I'm going on tours and doing protection for people, I'm at home a lot. So I got, I ended up being getting bigger and gaining weight. This is another obstacle that someone is sitting on this line going through, or maybe you'll see this. And, and, and what I'm telling you is I live in Texas. Everything is big in Texas. The plates, so 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 it's a lot. It's a lot different than ordering something in California where everybody's dainty, or Miami where you got uh, freshness on every corner. I'm telling you that this. I'm in a fight for my life, as Prez knows it, and I'm just letting you all know that if you're at home and you're going through something and you're thinking like, "Man, I was at this level and COVID has rocked my situation." One, you're not alone, but you're also not alone fighting your way out of it. You can come here every Monday and Wednesday, drop a gem on us, because I'm listening intently. Drop a gem on us, get a gem. Um, let's make let's make this somewhere where we can go. I like what he said earlier. This is a really a safe place. I never would have done this on any other live on any other IG. But this is a place where you come and you do not get judged for being who you are at the moment. Like at the moment, wherever you are right now, including me, I'm, you know, with, with, with me, me gaining weight and not being able to work and things like that. Um, where, wherever you are, you have to know that that's not your destination. That's just a part of the journey. I'm not talking cliche. I'm telling you. I'm sitting here knowing that as hard as hell as it is for me to get up in the morning or work out in the evening, I know that this won't be the end for me. So so I'm just I'm I'm just pushing one of you or trying to encourage one of you to know that if Big Breeze can do it, he gained a hundred uh, over a like sixty, seventy, a hundred pounds during COVID or, or whatever, and, and he lost all of the celebrity and all that status, but he still gets up and doesn't complain and feels like the world is not over, then you can do it. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you can do it, man. And we're going to do it together. And we're going to... Um... Yeah, Breeze. 
You, we're gonna push each other. Go ahead, go ahead, Prince. I just wanted to kind of lay that on. Oh no, I, I thought your internet went out for a second, but but I love what you're saying there, Breeze, and um, I love your 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 honesty and your vulnerability. And I think that you know, if 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 I could just touch on one of the key points that you just said again to anybody who's in this live. This this is our safe space. This, this, this we we're not judged here. We here to encourage each other. This is where all of the movers congregate. J j I don't care where you at right now. That ain't where you gonna be tomorrow. It's not. It, it's temporary. Yeah. It is. It it is temporary. And you gotta remember that. And you gotta know that 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 the victory. The victory is in the vulnerability and it's in the praise. Mm -hmm. So 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 coming and sharing your story, good or bad. Mm -hmm. Because and, and I'm so happy that that you know people who are deciding to step up this week is some good and it's some uh, bad. Yeah. Because everybody is not gonna be in a great place. That's everybody it. is not gonna be popping bottles and, mm -hmm. and you know. When jewelry, trust me, some of them same people who you see with the big chains and juries and cars, they selling it on the low. Yeah, yeah. They twist it. COVID done hit everybody. Nobody's yeah. exempt. Yeah. So stay faithful, stay encouraged. Breeze, thanks for sharing your story, brother. Take care. All right, y'all. All right, love you, brother. You be good. You one. I see if I can get one more person in this. We closing in on an hour. I got five minutes left before the hour's up. I hope y'all are really enjoying this. Cause I'm definitely enjoying it. Mondays and Wednesdays, 7 p.m., y'all. Mondays and Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, um, YouTube. You can find it all there. Is there anybody who got any question, anybody who needs anything answered? If, if, if you're going through some, some issues right now, if you're looking to take your business to the next level, let us know. If I can't answer it, it's somebody in this community who can. Yo, yo. Who we got here? Not sure what's going on with the, with the internet here. Okay. Try to get you back on. We're going to try to get him back on before we close out, y'all. Sam Smite, what up? Sam, what up? I see you here. Who we got? Okay. Wait, hello? Hello? Yep. You on. You on live. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> wow all right yo i'm a big fan i'm a very big fan okay hold up but before we go you gotta you gotta tell the community who are you you are a power move maker where are you from what's your name <laughs> okay i'm i'm uh my name is barry uh and i'm from i'm from westchester new york um i've actually seen you in the gym uh, and that's where I know you from, but like, since I've been following you for like months now, just on like, on YouTube, I can't believe I'm talking to you. This is <laughs> Wow. Now, nah, Barry, it's, 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 it's all love over here, brother. <laughs> yeah, so like, I, I'm, uh, I'm very, you know, passionate about like music and movies and, you know, like bad boy and just, you know, just entertainment and entrepreneurship. So I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I'm still trying to like figure myself out, try to like, you know, get out of the nine to five trap or the cycle, the, you know, you know, just like try to do something that I'm proud of, mm -hmm. try to make my own way. So I respect you and uh, big ups. Thank you so much, Barry. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. What, do, what do you do for a living now? So I work for, you know, uh, Spectrum, Spectrum Cable. Yeah, okay. So so I'm a uh, a research analyst. I work for Spectrum. Uh so yeah, that's my day to day. Um 
it's very good. You know, I, I, I like what I do. It's very interesting. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, but it's a job. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not really, uh, it doesn't really fulfill me, basically. It's, it's not really doing, it's not, you know, I, there's a lot of other things. I feel like I have a lot of talents, a lot of gifts. And uh, so I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to hold on to this job, but at the same time, you know, uh, uh, expand my horizons. Mm -hmm. Do more. Yeah. So. Do you, do you know what it is you want to do, Barry? Okay. So, I, you know, I love music. Um, uh, I do music, uh, but it's not my, you know, it's, it's sort of a, it's a hobby at this point. It's a hobby, right? Uh, so, and I, I'm also, I, you know, I do some some commercial gigs here and there. I have done, uh, you know, so that's the thing. But everything, it's, it's the work is so infrequent, so so far and, you know, in between. It, you can't pay the bills off. Okay, of so, so stop there. Stop there. I'm not asking you. If you can pay the bills with it, I'm asking you, do you know what you want to do? Is music a hobby or is that something that you would pursue? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so actually, so, so I know exactly like how much work goes into being a music producer or like, uh, because my dad is actually a, a successful record producer, um, Barry Eastman. So he, He's worked with Anita Baker. He's worked with Freddie Jackson. He's worked with um, Britney Spears. He's worked with a lot of people. A mm -hmm. lot of people. You can go. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, you know, and he's, you know, you know, he's he's put a lot of time in, um, over ten thousand hours. I, I feel like I have um, some of the ta I have like some of the the musical ear, if you would say ear. But uh, I haven't put in that ten thousand hours, so I'm I'm a little I'm not sure if I'm uh, if I'm worthy. I don't think I, you know I have a lot of work to do if I really want to take it seriously. You know, Barry, I'm listening to you and I'm listening intently, and I, and I'm gonna tell you uh, again, this is a safe space, and if in, in in you know I try to come as direct as humanly possible because I want to hear I want to help. Um, I asked you, is that what you want to do? And you told me, you know, everything but yes. Huh. You told me everything but this is my love. This is my gift. This is my passion. This is what I do when I'm not getting paid for it. I understand coming from the music industry how hard it is, number one, to get in. But once you get in, how to climb through the ranks and be successful. I get it. But if you had asked me that question, when I was starting out, my answer to you would have been music, yes. I'm going to be the biggest thing. I'm going to be a record label exec. When I had zero dollars in my bank account, when I had no idea how I would ever get a job, I would have answered that question very differently than you just did. And I'm telling you this because, number one, the success starts just with you claiming it, making a decision. I don't care how long it takes and how hard it might be to get into the industry and be successful. You got to claim it. You got to make a decision. Yes, this is what I want to do. And if it's not what you want to do, that's fine, too. You might say, look, Sean, this is my hobby, but the real thing I want to do is whatever else that you're really passionate about. So I would tell you, if working for the cable company is great, it pays the bills, keep that exactly in, 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 the, in the lane that it's supposed to be in. Don't ever, ever think that this is the end of my road. But what your job should be moving forward after this conversation, your real full-time job is figuring out what it is that you want to do with your life. Figuring out what it is that if I got paid $0, I would do it anyway. 
no different than what I'm doing right now. If I got paid zero dollars, I would be giving advice. If I got paid zero dollars, I would be trying to help people and encourage people to chase their dreams. You have to dumb it down. Don't think about the end result, how hard it is going to be to get to your goal. How hard it's going to be to be successful in whatever industry you decide to be in. Start with the basics. What is it that I just do for nothing? I just enjoy it. In my case, it's talking. Like, like it is just that simple. So, and I'm telling you this to say, the thing that you might love to do, on the surface, it might sound stupid to somebody. Like, you know, I was sharing last, um, on Monday with the group. How, how am I going to tell people I like to talk? Like, th that, that sounds crazy. How can I make money at that? Like, I was embarrassed to say that until I wasn't. And now I'm doing it. And, and never in my wildest dreams, I would have thought that I would meet Barry and, and be able to hear your story and help you and help so many of the other people who are on the line tonight on this live. So go and strip it back. Don't, 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 don't make this any more complicated than it needs to be. Really do some soul searching, really do some praying, peel back all the layers. Don't worry about how you're going to make a living at it. Don't worry, worry about how hard it's going to be to get to, to the finish line. Just start with the first step. What is it that I do every day, all day, that if I wasn't doing it, my life would just be ruined? I, I, I just would hate waking up in the morning. And it can be the stupidest, silliest thing. It don't matter. Start there. And then you will figure out how to make money at it. But I don't know if it's music because you really didn't give me that passion. It sounds more like music might be a hobby for you. Mm, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I don't know. It's the thing. It's like I love listening to music, but I know for me, uh, it doesn't happen quickly. You know, when I'm making a song, it takes like a very long time for me to put all the pieces together. It's like a week. And then I feel like I got a song. These days, people make like, 50 songs in like Don't worry about that. Three days. Don't worry about it. Did, did, was you here, was you here at the, at the top of this live? No, I wasn't here. No. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I just said, like, I, I was so busy comparing myself and, and, and worried about coming into these lives and giving these motivational things that I, that I, that I jammed my own self up. Mm. I had to just strip it. I, again, I had to strip it back and, and, and get on my knees and, and, and talk to God the way I'm talking to you. God, this is my gift. You gave it to me. So why don't I have the words to say to people? And God, like, because you didn't include me. And, and that's when I got it. So, so, so don't worry about other people making 50 beats an hour and you making right. one beat a month. That's not your concern. You, 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 you're clouding your focus. Peel back the layers, strip it all down, and make it and simplify it. Trust me when I tell you, you are over yourself. And, but but you got to get this right. You got to you 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 you're you're telling yourself all of the things that will make it difficult for you to succeed. Everybody else is doing it at a faster pace than you. It's hard to make money in the music industry. This, that, and the third. You are talking yourself right out of your gift. You really are. So, I hope I said something that um encourages you somewhat. But oh, if, yeah. if I can leave you with anything, please stop. Let the world puts enough barriers in the way. Don't do it to yourself. Stop wow. overthinking this thing. It, 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 you know, you got to strip it back and make it as simple as it really is. And then you're going to find success. Yo, thank you so much. That was, that was deep. <laughs> That's what we're here for, Barry. That's what we're here for. Every Monday night and Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Every Monday night and Wednesday night on this live.
And thank you so much for stepping up and having the courage to come on this live. I appreciate you for it. Absolutely. And I'll hopefully I'll see you in the gym. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I'll see you again. I'll see you again. Hold on. Did you subscribe to, to, to the YouTube channel, Power Move Makers, yet? Uh, yes, I did. I did. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. It's, it's so, many, so many quality interviews. There's so many people who are willing to share their journey and their gems and their experience. That This is something I encourage everybody because it's there for free. Barry, you have a good evening, and thank you very much, brother. Continue success and blessings. I appreciate you. All right, same to you. Thank you so much. Keep making power moves, brother. I'm Absolutely. looking. I'm, 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 I'm looking to one day interview you, and we're gonna be talking about this conversation right here. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. My man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Be good. One. All right, you too. Take care. Okay, y'all. We're gonna close it out right here. We could we just over an hour. Um hopefully something was said. And, and, and just within this community, we were able to uplift and strengthen each other and encourage each other. That's what it's about. We all movers in here, every one of us. So let's go out there and make power moves. I'll see y'all next week on Monday. Peace and love, y'all. Many blessings. One.